Good morning. This is Linda K. <clears throat> and it is Wednesday, November the 17th, 2022. And it is 7.25 a.m. on this Wednesday morning. And my area is going to be getting a uh, winter storm watch. Which I'm not looking forward to it. So we're in for a winter storm watch until tomorrow night. And we're supposed to get snow um, today, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, lovely time of the year. And my cat is meowing. I'm going to try it. Come here, Buttercup. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Buttercup. Come here. Come here. Say hi, everyone. Look at my pretty face. He's my baby. He's my baby. I want to get down. And in case you haven't noticed, I cut my own hair. I cut the, the sides. And the back is sticking up like crazy, but... But I have real thick hair. And so... I decided just to cut it myself this winter, this winter, and then I'll go to a beauty shop and get it cut properly. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep my sides short. I'm drinking coffee on my eat. I don't have. I still have this memorized. Eat, read, sleep, and repeat. Eat, read, sleep, and repeat. Copy mug. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, this is class tube number thirty-nine, and the last time I made a video was August the 22nd and so it's been a few months time has flown by things have happened so at least I am making one today so I have whips and I have haul so I will start with the whips The one that, the two that I'm concentrating on, I'll show, I'll show first. Uh, I am working on a way we write, and there, there was a SAL started for the, for Blackboard Designs, and we put the stitch, the, the last Saturday, I think it was, of every month. And so, I decided just to continue stitching on mine. So here's what it looks like. Away We Ride by Blackpool Designs. And I will take a piece of paper like this and I write down the name of the pattern, who it by, when I started it, when I finish it, the type of fabric, what count, and who it by, and then the uh, threads I'm using. So, and I keep my projects and the 
a bag that you can get from Amazon for a real cheap price. And I will take it out of the hoop. So I'm gonna shoot the whole thing. See the whole thing. And here is what it looks like. I'm doing this on 14 count Swigert Base White Ada 2 over 1. <coughs> and I'm using. <coughs> I'm not going to coughing. And I'm using uh, Gentle Art Sample Threads. And. The last two threads I'm down to is Onyx, which is this one. It's black, basically. And then Garden Gate, which is which was very difficult to get when we had a pandemic going on. So it's kinda like a brownish color. So that is an I will be done with this project today because I just got the bottom wording to finish up, like right here. So, that's what it looked like. And I love my 14 count. So that's where I'm at on that one. So I'll be done with this today. That's book number one. Oh, me. oh and this room is the cat's room. So if you see dust around, you'll know why, because, you know, cats create dust. Okay, and then I thought another project. And it's the police car. It's this one. Oh, shoot. This one right here. Right there. That's one I'm working on. And this has metallic threads and whatnot. Oh. And I'm doing this on 14 count white Ada. And this is what I have done on it. There is white, but you can just barely see it. But it'll be it'll show up better once I get going on this. So Uh, making that for the police station in my town. I, I made one for the fire department. I made one for the MFA. I made one for the Walkerton Library. And now I make one for the Walkerton Police Station. And 
and here is my full coverage. Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is the only full coverage I'm working on at the present time. And here's what it looks like. It's called Hanging with Some Butterfly Sloth. And by uh, Gina Pipe. And her patterns are retired. She is retired. I'm doing this on 25 count white Lugana 1 over 1 and I'm not going to take it out of the hoop but here's what I got done on it so far and I grid my own fabric and I use the Saki <coughs> metallic <coughs> threads and, and it's in the 8000 number range Here's the blue one. And here is the red one. That's what I use to grab my fabric with. And you can buy these from Joanna Fabric, Amazon, any fabric store. And I got plenty of these to last. <coughs> but, um, but that's what it looks like. I don't know why this thing is so blurry. But that's what it looks like. That's, oh, I'm holding it upside down. Duh. Never mind me. Okay. There we go. So I'm in the second, first and second column of page three. And I'm working my way down. I do one column at a time. I do a 10 by 10 block from start to finish. Before I go to the next block. So, oops, wrong one. So that's what it looks like. So those are my roots. And actually, the only two I'm working on is the first two that I showed you: the blackboard design and the and this one. So those are my lips. Now it's time for the haul. <sighs> okay. My haul came from two different places. It came from my Ellen Ellen S, which is House of Stitches, and it also came from One Two Three Stitch. So this is Mill Hill Garden and Gnomes, and it's a beehive house. Got this at House of Thistles. Another one I got is the Spring K Mill Hill. And it is so cute because it, it's a octopus with flowers around it. It's so cute. Okay, Blair, stop. I got this at House of Thistles. And it comes with the whole 
the bead thread needles, the perforated paper. And I got, um, I'm buying a called A Year of Animal Fun and Frolic. And I got the July one. And by Tiny Modernist. And so far I got January through July. So I'm slowly buying these. And I'm also buying A Year in the Woods. And I got one through six now. So I got the bear, which is number six. And I'm also buying the uh, Pretty Kitty Monthly Series by Buttercup Designs. And so I got January and February, March and April, May and June, and this is July and August. So I got two more of these to get yet. August, Sept September, and October, and then November, December. So next month, I'm going to buy the last two. And then I got another Miller Hill called Gar Garden and Gnomes. And it's called the Mushroom House. And then for my, and I got that for my LNS. I got um, Halloween Tiny Town by Heart and Hand pattern uh, there you go I got a um, tiny minor nest it's rustic summer set I got um, the acorn catcher <coughs> and by Pansy Pat Quilt and Tittery. And I got Autumn something. Shoot. It's Autumn telling the tag is covering it up. Hey, see if I can. Hang on a minute. Okay. Edit called Autumn Corner by Madame Chantelli.
and I love this. This is I I just love this one. The squirrel, the hedgehog, acorn, leaves, pumpkins, flowers. I love it. And then another one I got is a called Weepy Sidewalk by Erica Michaels. Then I got some other stuff. Um, the Johnny Creek Cross Stitch Autumn 2020 Collection Magazine, Pattern Magazine. So I got that. And I got the Stony Creek Cross Test Winter 2021 mag Pattern Magazine. And I have a pattern and a card. I love frogs. By X's and O's. And I got the Stony Creek Cross Disc Collection issue, uh, Spring of 2022. I got Donut Creek Cross Stitch Collection, Summer 2022. And I got Just Cross Stitch magazine October of 2022 and the two patterns that I have been dying and I mean dying to get is Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio And my last one is uh, Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. And I have been dying to get this one too. So I got my two favorite patterns I've been wanting to get for a long time. So. So that is all of my haul and my wit. And I want to thank all my subscribers for returning and watching my videos. For all of the new subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. And <clears throat> and I will try to be a little bit more consistent of making my videos. 
I know this a whole lot, so it take me a while to get something accomplished. And so I just take my time and stitching and and enjoy it while I'm stitching it. So that is all for today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.